Hi, I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. I'm going to talk to you about Video Notes or VideoNot.es because that's the website. And what this allows you to do is take a video and take notes on it while you're watching the video. And it syncs them up so that later on when you're reviewing and you want to learn about the, uh, the, the formula of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, you can go to that section of the notes. And you want to go a little bit earlier, you can go to that section. And you want to add something in, you can do that. You can also share notes with a friend, uh, and it saves them all to your Google Drive so that you can access them with the cloud, and it gives you a nice location to, to keep everything. Now, Video Notes is made to integrate with YouTube or Khan Academy, because Khan Academy stuff is all basically YouTube. It also integrates with Coursera or Udacity or edX videos, so that if you're taking a MOOC from one of those, you're able to have a, a, an easier time maybe in that hour-long lecture on computer programming. If you want to repeat the part of this tiny little instance, it's going to be a lot easier for you to find the part of the video to actually review. So if you're taking a MOOC or if you're teaching a MOOC, tell your students about this so that way they have a chance to try it out. Now let's look at how to use this. Again, it's videonot.es and we're going to tell it to create our notes. I've opened this up before. The first time I opened it, it gave me a page where it asked if I would allow it to connect to Google Drive. And that's how it is able to store files in my drive so I can access them later and so I can share them with other people. So if you trust Google, allow it. I have options here. I can create a new, which I'm already on that page. I can open an existing one. I can save things, although you'll see up here as I work, it'll save automatically. I can turn the syncing on or off. I'm not sure why I would turn it off, because that's the whole point of this, is to make it all sync. And then I can share, and we'll look at that. So, to make a video, I just find one that I want to watch, and so for my YouTube, I just have the address there, I can copy it. And if you're working with Coursera, or edX, or one of the other MOOCs, you can find the video link to whatever you're looking at and use that. Paste it in there tell it to load. When you get started, don't forget to title it. And you'll see why in a little bit, but you just play the video and you can start typing in notes. So as you type in each note, it will sync it up with the right time. You can jump ahead like regular in a video. And so as it's working, I can click back through to find the place where I took that note. You can also delete things just like regularly. When you're done, tell it to save, and it will tell you that it is saving. When we look at the sharing settings in this, the setup is just like a Google Drive because that's what it's working through. So at the top you have the link that is how to get to the video notes. Uh, you have, right now, the default is that anyone can view these if they have a link. You're the owner. And you'll see this person who may or may not actually exist, but unishared.com is the company around video notes. And they have it set to view. This is going to be automatically on every set of notes that you make. If you don't like that, you can click X and get rid of them, but that makes it a little bit harder for somebody to view your video if you actually are sharing with them. So if you put a new address down here for a, a, a collaborating student, it's a little bit tougher for them to view it, but it's still doable. So you can delete this person. It's just a little bit more effort later on, which you'll see. Because once it's shared, I can go into my open and I can view this one that I've made and this other one that I made and didn't title, but Heisenberg is one that is shared with me from another account. So if I click on it, it should open, but on that video, that person deleted the made up or not uh, unishared person. So I can't access it through the video notes website. I can access it when I look at my Google Drive. Now, 
when my videos get put onto you onto Google Drive, they will automatically get put into the main drive folder, which if you have a lot of videos, it's kind of a pain. Also, every time you make a new video, whether you do anything with it or not, it makes the file. And so these are all ones that don't have anything in them. And so we can get rid of them. But if you have a lot show up, that's what's happening. Also, this is why you want to title your file when you make it at the beginning, because if you forget, it's among perhaps several others that you'll have to sort through. So we can delete these. And it's a good idea to just make a video notes folder. When you make new notes, they'll still live on the main page originally, but any file you can just drag and drop. So you can drop your uh, video into there after it's created. I don't have to go through the Video Notes website to open these. I can click on it and at the bottom click Open. And I open with the Video Notes app that gets added to Google Drive. So you don't always have to navigate through their website. And this is how you have to open it if you got rid of that unishared person. This is how you have to open them. So if we looked back, I had that Heisenberg video that I wanted to open. Because it's shared with me, with Google Drive, it lives in my shared with me folder. And I can click on it here and open it that same way. I click open, I tell it to open with video notes, and even though the person sharing it, who originally made it, got rid of the unishared person, I'm still able to view it through Google, not through video notes. It makes it really complicated and confusing, so if you don't mind a strange person looking at your video notes, just keep it the way it is. Otherwise, there's this option. And that's video notes. Give it a try, especially if you have big lecture videos or like documentaries or something that your instructors gave you, or if you're the instructor, if you know you use those, recommend to students. It's going to make it a lot easier for them to find the notes that go along with the certain part of the video to make the whole review process and actually applying stuff a lot easier for them.